Today I'm going to show you guys the Wimaxit 13.3 inch USB Type-C portable monitor and hopefully give you guys enough information to help you to determine whether or not it's right for you. And at the end of this video I'm going to share with you guys how I use this monitor and how it's helped in my video editing workflow. So let's check it out. The screen comes in at 13.3 inches and has a viewing resolution of 1920 by 1080 with a refresh rate at up to 60 hertz. It's got an IPS panel with a viewable angle of 178 degrees, a thousand to one contrast ratio, built-in HDR function, and LED backlighting that Wixmit claims is up to 350 lux. The reason why I say that is because there was a few conflicting specs out there, so I had to go direct to the source to find what their spec was because I was a little bit worried when I picked up this monitor that it wasn't gonna be bright enough for my needs. But I did find that once I received it, it was surprisingly bright. Indoors, it is more than sufficient for anything that I do. It pairs very well with my MacBook. I can say that if you were to use it outdoors, it probably would be a little bit difficult to see, especially if you're in direct sun. But if you're doing anything indoors, you should be just fine. In the box, you get the screen itself, a very nice screen cover, a screen protector, a USB Type-C cable, a full-size HDMI cable, a USB Type-A to Type-C cable, the quick start guide, and a cleaning cloth. The build quality itself is great. The housing is made entirely out of aluminum and measures 12 inches by 7.8 inches and is only 0.4 inches thick. I tried to find a spec on the color of the housing, but the best I can come up with is that it's it's like a gunmetal type color, and it has a very premium feel and look to it. The glass is made out of tempered glass, which the company claims is shatter resistant. And I can tell you that it is a bit reflective, so if you have an area that that might be a problem, then you wanna maybe get yourself a screen protector that has more of a matte finish. From what I can tell, the screen protector that comes with it does not have a matte finish to it, so you would still have that issue. The cover is very nice. It also doubles as a stand for the screen itself. It doesn't have any magnetic properties to it, you know, to keep it closed or anything like that, but it doesn't feel like it's really gonna be much of an issue. On the back of the screen here, you can actually take the cover off using these two little hand screws, so you don't even need any kind of tools to do that. And it actually has a VESA mount on the back of it, so you can attach this to a mount if you wanna put it next to another monitor or something like that. For connections, it's got two USB Type-C ports. Now for my MacBook Pro, I can plug one cable directly from my MacBook into the screen and my MacBook will put out enough power to supply power to the screen and I don't have to worry about anything else. Some devices, however, do not put out enough power and you need to use the second port which is dedicated directly for power, so you would need to plug it into the wall. But the cool thing about that is that it does offer power pass-through. So if I want to, I can plug one cable from my MacBook into the screen and plug my MacBook's charger into the screen and it will pass power through to my MacBook. So I'm only taking up one USB Type-C port on my MacBook and I have other ports available for other things. It's got a HDMI Type-A port, so full-size HDMI. It's got micro USB for on-the-go cables connecting to phones and things like that. You need to check to make sure that your device is compatible. It's got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now I can say that this does have built-in speakers. It's got stereo speakers, one on each side but they are not the greatest. They will work if you, if you need sound, but if you have a better quality sound on, the, on your MacBook or you know, whatever device you're using, you're better off with that. But if you want to, you can also use the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to you know, use nice headphones and be able to get great quality sound. For controls, it's got this toggle wheel here for going through the menu system and a menu button. 
The menu is very easy and very versatile. It actually offers quite a bit of control. You can control brightness, contrast, saturation, hue. You can even control the color temperature. It's got uh, eye saving modes and things like that. It's got a lot of different options in there. You can go to performance mode. You can go to HDR mode. Just a lot of different things that, that this screen is capable of. Those are the features and specs of this portable little monitor. Now I'll kind of share with you guys my personal thoughts and opinions on it and explain to you guys how I've been using it and how it's helped me out in my workflow. So first of all, for $169, I think it's a great addition to anybody's setup. If you're considering picking one of these up, there's a link down in the description below where you can find one. But the fact that it's so portable and it is very premium filling, I like the fact that you can have just one USB cable powering this thing and it's a very clean setup. So if you're on the go a lot, if you're traveling a lot and you're working off a laptop or MacBook like I am most of the time, then this just makes a lot of sense because it gives you all the much more real estate to work with, more screen space, but doesn't take up a lot of your ports and, and it's just easy to travel with. It's very lightweight. It would fit in a bag very easily with a laptop and you're not going to notice like a huge burden carrying this thing around. Um, people do use it for gaming and stuff like that. So if you are going to be, you know, traveling with kids and they want to take some kind of gaming station, then you can game off this. I don't do a whole lot of gaming, but I can tell you what I do use this for. The way that this has helped me is I do mainly video editing and I edit a lot off of DaVinci Resolve. So in my editing station over here, I have my, my main working space on my MacBook and then I have my clean feed on, on my uh, 4K monitor here, but I will use this off to the side for scopes. And that's helped me out a ton because I have much more viewing area to where I can view all my scopes at one time. I don't have to switch back and forth and things like that. And a cool feature about DaVinci Resolve is normally you can only view the scopes when you're in the color page. But for me, I can now view the scopes even when I'm in the editing page. So if there's things that, are, that need to be corrected, I can see it without having to jump over to the color page. And I also like the fact that this has a VESA mount. I'm actually thinking about mounting it uh, permanently over here off to the side on my monitor, but I haven't you know, yet decided whether or not I'm gonna do that. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope that I answered all your questions and helped you to determine whether or not this is something that will work for you. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down in the comment section. I love to help you guys out. And if you did find this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up. It definitely helps both this video and this channel out. And if you are not subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button as well as that bell for future notifications. But I thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next one.